Welcome to 10 Strategies for Online Test Taking. Professors may decide to give you online exams whether you are in a fully online class or a traditional face-to-face -face one, and for many reasons. Online exams are convenient for students and faculty in terms of time and place. They also allow for improved accessibility for students with disabilities, less harmful environmental impacts since it is a paperless method, and in some cases, instant feedback on your grades. Since online testing is becoming more and more common across online and traditional programs, we will share 10 strategies with you that will help you perform better in your online exams. Let's get started. Strategy 1. Know the test. The first strategy is to know the test. In other words, know how the test is structured. For example, will there be multiple choice, fill in the blank, essay, or a combination of questions? How many questions will there be? Will you have to answer each question in sequence, or can you skip one and return to it? Is the test time, and if so, how long will you have to complete it? How many attempts will be allowed? And what are the instructor's policies regarding the use of resources in an online exam? If the professor or the syllabus hasn't outlined this information for you before the exam, feel free to ask him or her for a little insight so you can feel better prepared. There are some other things to consider about the test. For example, what if you have technical difficulties? If you feel that your computer or the internet connection isn't the most reliable, utilize one of the computers on campus that is hardwired to the internet. You should know your instructor's policies on this before taking the test. Strategy two, plan ahead. There are many things you can do before taking the test to make sure you are organized and prepared going forward. Read your syllabus and or course calendar and understand the test policies your professors may have. If allowed, print off materials that have been cleared by your professor for use during the test. If you can use them, organize your notes. Highlight keywords and put sticky notes in your textbook so you can find important information quickly. And remember, even if your test is open book, study and prepare as if it was not. Strategy 3. Gather your resources. Part of planning ahead is gathering your resources. Don't wait until the last minute to do this. Know what is allowed and what is not allowed during the test. For example, ask your professor if you can use lecture notes, textbooks, websites, or previous assignments to help you during the exam. Again, reread your notes, highlight, and annotate. Strategy 4. Find a good location. If you know you won't be able to concentrate on your exam at home or in your dorm room, find another place to do the exam. The MSMC library has quiet areas for such activities. If this isn't an option for you, let your family or roommates know when you will be taking your test so they know to be respectful. Have a backup plan in case your technology fails. Again, the MSMC library has over 60 computers available to you in the event that your computer or internet isn't working when you take your test. And also, minimize distractions around you by turning off your cell phone and other electronic devices. Strategy 5. Don't wait. Often your professor will give you ample time to complete a test or exam online. Don't wait until the last day it is due to complete it. You could encounter technical difficulties or have a personal emergency that would prevent you from submitting the test on time. If you wait until the last minute, the professor will likely be less lenient when you experience these issues. Now you are ready to take the test. You have done your research, organized your resources, and found a good location to take the exam. Let's say you have a multiple choice section of the test. Don't skip reading the directions just because you are familiar with the testing format or because you think you know what the professor wants. For example, the directions may ask you to choose one correct answer or they could ask you to choose all that apply. If you didn't read the directions, you may have moved through the exam thinking the professor wanted one thing when they actually wanted another. If you have an essay or short answer question that has many parts, make sure you read the directions, know what the question is asking, and formulate your response in the order that the questions are asked. Let's do a short activity on the importance of reading directions. Let's assume you are taking a psychology class and you have to answer the following question. Freud argued in his psychoanalytic personality theory that there are three parts to the human personality. First, define psychoanalytic personality theory and identify each part of the personality as outlined by Freud. 
Then give an example of how each part of the personality can be demonstrated in human behavior. As you can see, this question has many parts. First, you must describe what the theory is. Then you must identify the three parts of the personality. And last, you must give an example of how the three parts of the personality can be demonstrated in human behavior. If you do not read each part of the question and you do not answer the question fully as a result, you may not get full credit. Strategy seven, relax and take your time. A common test taking mistake is to rush through an exam. Make sure you take your time and utilize all of the resources. If you have well-organized notes or a textbook at your disposal, you will have enough time to properly reflect on your answer instead of frantically searching for information. If you come across a question that stumps you, skip the question and come back to it at the end of the exam if the test allows. You should also use all the time allowed for the test. This will give you time to answer each question and then revisit them at the end of the exam to make sure you are satisfied with your answers. This will prevent submitting silly mistakes that you may have made while trying to rush through the exam. Strategy eight, take notes. Now let's talk about taking notes during the exam. If you are allowed, have a piece of paper and pen handy. For short answer or essay questions, draw up an outline of your thoughts before you put them in the answer box. If you decide to skip a question for the time being, jot down the number of that question so you do not forget to go back to it at the end of the exam. You can also take notes on information that you think may be helpful for you later in the exam or questions you may have for your professor after the test. If you want to take this strategy a step further, you can create a template that you could reuse every time you take a test. For example, this template could include common information such as the class name and test number, when the test is available, the due date, and even the date, time, and place that you plan to take the test. Then it can be as simple as writing question one, question two, etc., and leaving yourself space to jot down your thoughts as you come to each question. You may even want to create a special space on the template where you can write some follow-up questions that you plan to ask your professor after the test. If your test includes essay questions, perhaps you could use a different template, which could include space for you to write down notes regarding things like the introduction, how you are going to grab the reader's attention, build your case, and introduce your thesis statement could all be outlined here. You could also include the body, what are your main points and what are the ideas you are going to use to support them? And lastly, your conclusion. How are you going to restate your thesis using different words, summarize your main points, and end your essay? Strategy nine, review your answers. Finally, you have completed your exam and you are ready to submit it. But wait, remember to review your answers before you turn in your exam for grading. This is part of the reason why the professor may give you extra time to complete an exam, so take advantage of it. Return to each question and make sure you are satisfied with your answers. Proofread any written responses to ensure that you have made no spelling or grammar errors. If you took notes throughout the exam, revisit them and make sure you didn't skip over any questions that may have stumped you. Strategy 10, use instructor feedback. You have submitted your exam and received your grade, but your work isn't over just yet. Review your test results and read any comments your professor may have left you. This feedback will be very important, especially if you know you'll be taking a final exam that might include some of these questions in it. It will also be helpful for you to understand the material better and allow you to make connections within the content. If you can't find any feedback or your instructor didn't provide any, ask them for some guidance with the questions you may have gotten wrong. We hope that these strategies will help you be a more successful test taker in the online environment. Before you take your next exam online, review these strategies once more and take some time to think about your test taking plan. If you have any questions, feel free to contact the Office of Online Learning.